Clint McIver looks at cell phone video he took back in the fall. The video is of his cousin's house on Sandy Bay First Nation. His video and the ensuing media coverage got the attention of millions across the country, and it was exactly what McIver was hoping for. I just wanted to show show people like how neglected our our First Nations people are and how how much some people just don't care. But some people did care. The owner of an Ontario construction company even stepped up and donated a new home for the family. And Melinda McIver said they really needed it. It's rotten and sewer smells and a bunch of, we have a bunch of rats. Mostly we killed 32 rats already. The house was supposed to be delivered before Christmas, but months after McIver took that first video, his cousin's family is still living in the same house. And instead of a new home for the holidays, the only present this family got was a brand new baby. Now, 11 people live in this small, rotting home. I'm sad for these people because, you know, that smell of sewage. I, I went to visit them for 10 minutes and, you know, my stomach was sore. And knowing that they have to live with this problem, you know, it just makes me sad. Meanwhile, they could have been in a brand new house. Daryl Williams with Total Construction Management said the brand new four-bedroom house is ready to be delivered, but the band failed to build a concrete foundation for the house to be put on. Williams said he tried more than a hundred times to reach Sandy Bay Chief Lance Roulette to ensure the band was ready to receive the new home. The people in charge of Sandy Bay, you know, they just simply don't care. In a statement to CBC, Chief Roulette said he was dealing with personal issues in the hospital and that he takes responsibility for any miscommunication and delays. Delays are more than just a misunderstanding for the McIvers. It means another full winter in a house that's rotting from all sides. And while many are frustrated and angry here that this house has yet to be replaced, they know that even when this one family gets a new and safe roof over their head, it will do little for the entire community, where even more are in desperate need of housing. Brett Purdy, CBC News, Sandy Bay First Nation.